Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming out to a 2022 Panini Donruss Optic Football six box half case. Pick your team number three. All cards ship, a lot of fun stuff in here, and a wax party invite at the end. Big thanks to everybody uh, right here for getting out of the action. We're talking a little AI before we started the break. There's Joe Andreessen with the uh, Broncos last spot mojo star next to his name. If you have Optic next year, that, mean, that means you won that team in that Optic pack. You know, if, if technology, listen, think about how fast AI technology expanded in the last five years. It grew very quickly and exponentially. So imagine where we'll be at in another five years. So, and think about how many, how many hours Someone calculate that. How many hours of breaking do you think that I've done in the nine years I've been doing this? There's hours and hours of data. You know, they could probably take all the stuff that I've said, generate an AI version of me, put it in some sort of robot form, and I, I wouldn't have to, I would just rake in the money. I wouldn't have to do a thing. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. I got six, right side. Be awesome. There's, there's enough things that I've said over the years, where you can just aggregate all that information Be amazing. And it, in in the cloud. Data storage is another uh, another thing you should invest in, Logan. Data storage. Cloud storage, data storage. And clean energy. We gotta we gotta power all these servers and storage areas as well. Rex is going through some uh, cards. Are Jared Vanderbilt rookies worth holding? Probably not. He's a nice player, but I'm not sure. I think whatever his price is now is probably what it's gonna what it's gonna be. Yeah, that's 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 where it's, that's where it's going to be. Especially as technology expands, we're going to need more efficient ways to power it, and we got to find ways to store it. So, if you're looking for future investments, In fact, some some Bitcoin bulls have have argued that hey, we're we we are pushing advancements in in different kinds of energy, you know. So production of energy might be more efficient. Could be more efficient. Power storage, another thing too. Once you uh, generate a lot of electricity from a wind, a windmill, right? A wind farm, where do you store it? So battery storage, also another thing, gotta think about power storage. There was a cool thing I saw that had to do with dumping water into a thing where, where, where when you save energy, it pours water into this whole big, big tube and then when you need energy released, then you release the water and it fires through a turbine and generates the electricity. I forget what that's called, but it's really cool stuff. Sam Darnold to 299, that's for Carolina, that's for Brian T. And there's Evan Neal to 99 for the Giants. Now we're gonna need a lot of power and data storage to create 
an AI Joe Jaspi. It's Chris Godwin to 179. There's Odafe Owe to 199. Now the only problem is what happens when when this AI realizes it wants money of its own to buy things for itself and it realizes that I've just been taking all of its money. There's Joe Burrow Blazers insert. I don't know if this is a if this is a short print or not, but I feel like it's the first time I'm seeing this insert. It looks pretty cool. Sean Maddock and the Bengals. Eric Dickerson to 299. And Aiden Hutchinson, Gridiron Kings autograph. Nice. Nice game wrecker here going to Ben and the Lions. Won that in the filler. Sounds like the script of Bicentennial Man. Never seen it. Never seen it, but maybe it's a movie ahead of its time. Of course, there could be Terminator scenarios for AI. I guess I guess I was listening to this thing on NPR. I think the short-term risk of AI is uh, is it's going to be harder and hard. It's it's hard now, but it's even going to be more hard to figure out what's real and what's not real on the interwebs. There's Kenny Pickett right here for the Steelers. It's going to go to Brian T. The that that's the that's the short term concerns for uh, for AI. If anybody is in between jobs and wants uh, wants to make a lucrative uh, wants to work on making a lot of money, you could be a uh, a debunker. I don't know how that would work, but you could probably be a debunker of stuff. Be like a you know, do what Snopes is doing, I guess. And if you can if you can win on that, that could be huge. The medium term is obviously potential job loss. AI job loss. Most I feel like most most AI experts. Well, I don't know. I'm sure there's some that do. It's it's who knows what's going to happen. But I think the interview that I was listening to was with the guy that worked for that. You recently quit Google over his fears of AI. His main fear was not necessarily like not necessarily job loss per se. I mean, he is concerned about that, or uh, you know, or just people being fooled by stuff, you know. People who don't do their research and just take everything at face value on the internet is going to... I mean, that's always going to happen. But his main fear was how it's going to be used against... Yeah, Rex. How, yeah, how, how do you see it? How, do you, how can you see it turning against each other? I agree, Simon. Invest in water, too. Yeah. Movie I, Robot. Why, did, why were there so many robots built? What, 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 why were there so many robots built in that movie? In that movie's world? There's Clyde Edwards Elaire to two ninety-nine. There's Jalen Naylor to ninety-nine. Vikings. We'll we program what's to say someone gets a hold of our AI reprograms and do harm. Well, 
Right. It's Max Crosby to uh, 179. But is our smart speaker actually going to hurt us? Is that... Ooh, nice Desmond. This doesn't hurt. This is this is good. Desmond Ritter, rated rookie red, for Scott and the Falcons. Got randomized the Falcons in the filler. That's the seventy-five. There's Jordan Poyer to one twenty-five. Because I was thinking the same thing when I was listening to the interview. I was like, yeah, in my head, somehow there's a Terminator scenario that happens, right? But, like, what's actually going to harm us? Is our smart speaker going to tell us to put, like, acid in our pasta? Like, we're not going to listen to that. Hopefully there'll be some common sense. You know, are we building actual robots? Our Roomba's not going to kill us. You know, the, the, the customer service... AI is not going to kill us. What's what would kill us? And so this guy, this this former Google exec who was heading the AI department, ultimately was like being like, well, think about it. AI is going to be probably militarized. And then when you build, when you build soldiers that are machines rather than flesh and blood, Brock Purdy going to build. This is this guy's theory, because the defense our, our defense department has had had recruited a bunch of corporations to, including Google, to uh, to develop AI for them. And so we're talking about like drone technology on steroids. And sure, on one hand, you're thinking, yeah, well, that's, that's less human lives, right? Which is great, you know, as. As an American and as a, as, as a military superpower, we're probably thinking, great, it'd be, be awesome not sending Americans to, to die. But that wasn't the fear. The fear was, the fear was um, if you have other countries that could gain access to this technology, the barrier of entry for them to invade another country is a lot lower. So that's where the that's that's where the fear that's where the fear is. This is way down the line. You know. Fifty years, hundred years maybe. But but that could be the one that 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 gets us. Well yeah, well for power grids and stuff like that. I feel like uh, unless – and it's good to be thinking about the stuff now. There better be checks and balances against that. Like not one thing should be controlling infrastructure, for example, if AI is being used to divert power during high usage times and make it super efficient and blah, 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 blah. If that's being automated with the use of AI, there better be checks and balances, hopefully a human. <laughs> A human being. And also inherently, AI created things are uh, until they become sentient, I guess. They're essentially psychopaths. <laughs> they have no feelings. They're, they have like, we have one operation we need to do. We're going to do it. And especially from, you know, from military operations and perspectives like that, if, uh, you know, without exacting parameters, right, there's a chance that, that they might do whatever it takes to complete the task, you know? So it's almost like you have to have like you have to have like lawyers 
making sure you have every clause and every possibility taken care of. Yeah, that I heard, Logan. That's pretty scary. There, there is like some AI technology that's able to copy voices and calling families and saying they're, they're kidnapped, please send money. There's some real stories about that. Redemption, Devontae Adams for the Raiders. I think I did hear something like that, Rex. In this very... Uh, In this very uh, NPR, I think, story that I was listening to, where there was a certain AI robot that apparently gained enough sentience where it was like, these tasks that I'm doing are pointless and shut itself down. It essentially killed itself. Michael Thomas, 65. But like the short term thing for, for you and I over the next five years is probably just being aware of not just, I mean, I, I know too many people who just see one video or one picture or one headline and, and they're like, they're like, oh my God, did you see what happened? Did you see what such and such politician said or what such and such celebrity said? And like the idea of like deep fakes can be, you know, is, is going to be very real. And so, so that's, that's the, that's the near term concern in the next, like now even, <laughs> from now for the next handful of years. Brock Purdy. This is real, folks. This is not AI generated. This is a rated rookie autographs red Brock Purdy. Doesn't expire until November 30th of 2024. Not AI generated. Today is Thursday, June 1st, 2023. 10.13 p.m. LA time, Los Angeles time. Joe Jaspi pulling Brock Purdy. For Bill, who got the Niners straight up in Optic Football, half case, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Soba, no. Not until we fill the second half of this case. Simon, yes. I think if you AI generated, uh, if you... AI generated a group breaker today. If I pull this Brock Purdy autograph, I'm supposed to rip my shirt off and, and, and start slamming my biceps and screaming at the top of my lungs. That's how you know I'm not AI generated, Simon. I'm not an AI generated breaker. <laughs> I could if you want. I mean, I, I could AI generate a. Uh, that's how you break with this thing. I, I think that's we provide a we, pro, we provide a nice chill alternative to some of the other guys. I mean, I think people appreciate that. I could though. Oh my God, Brock Purdy! What? Jason Jaspi, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy! Woo woo! Let's effing go! Yeah! I mean, I could do it. Pop on some rubber gloves. <laughs> Don't do anything. Put that Brock Purdy Redemption in a one touch. Maybe offer to buy it from the guy. Bro, 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 bro. I'll give you, I'll give you a thousand bucks right now. Right now. (laughs) 
I've probably seen people make more mistakes while wearing gloves than I have with people who don't. Just mishandling of cards for any of that. B Court says I'm pretty good at that. I don't know. I've, I've seen the competition. Yeah, that's the other thing, Simon. The, the security issues for... There's Evan Ingram. I don't know why I've slipped around, but there he is, Evan Ingram. It's Gabriel Davis to, one, to 79. You know, that's why I actually don't collect. Uh, first of all, I enjoy just ripping this stuff open so I get my fix that way. But it's like the breakers are also serious collectors. You know, I, I can imagine that the temptation to do something not kosher may, be, may creep into one's mind. Especially if, if one is young and dumb enough. <laughs> Here's Derwin James. There's Jim Kelly as well. Michael Parsons to two ninety nine for Dallas. T Higgins to ninety nine. Is Michael Carter to fifty? I don't know, maybe an AI generated Joe Shaspi. If if the AI takes uh takes information from all other breakers, maybe an AI Joe Jaspi would be would be just over the top and obnoxious. That's possible. There's Drew Brees to one seventy nine. Maybe we'll wait until that AI technology gets a little bit more advanced. I guess I'm not retiring anytime soon. Sanders to 125. I think there's like a a chat GPT bard type thing. Now I forget what I forget what it is, what that the program actually is, but where you can just now Give the AI generator a, a series of prompts to create an image for you. Which I think is pretty scary. Although we're not, I mean, I, I guess me as a public figure would have to worry, I might have to worry about it. Someone would be like, Joe Jaspi, you know, riding on a train, riding on a steam train, with a conductor's hat in overalls. You know, and then that image will look here. And it might look very convincing. Imagine the future if everyone has a personal AI in their home, the way everyone has Alexa. Does everyone have an Alexa in their home? What is the percentage of Alexa owning households in the United States?
This can't be right. In 2020, this is an old article, in 2020, Amazon determined that 25% of U.S. households have at least one Alexa device. That's got to be more now, you think, right? Anyway, then it becomes handy and just start spending your money through all of your apps. You would think there'd be a way to stop that, right? Your bank would be like, hey, did you make this transaction? And you'd be like, no. And they'd be like, okay. I'm not worried about that. It's Carson Strong. Jalen Naylor to 299. Diamond AJ, Diamond Hands AJ Brown. He should have probably had his hands in that sort of a diamond shape, which is often a good way to, to, to catch a football. I feel like I haven't seen this insert a lot either. I don't know how short printed this is, but this is going to go to Benjamin and the Eagles. Joe Mixon to 125. Speaking of spending money, I was looking at getting a toppler binder for some of my cards. Anyone have one? If you do, are they worth it? That sounds kind of cool. It's like a traditional binder, but the pages are actually top loaders. Right, so it'd be like top loader, top loader, top, and you just put them into sleeves like that. Am I am I hearing? Am I reading that right? I don't think we have anything like that in our store. I should check. Is Von Miller to one ninety nine? And we've got Khalil Shakir. Buffalo! For the Buffalo Bills, Khalil Shakir, Brian T. with the Bills. Got some cracked ice. It's out of 15. Nice low number. Let's hope he becomes a pro bowler this year. Nice. That went through, Rex. See, we just, we just used the, the stock symbol for all those major companies, and you'll be able to say whatever you want in the chat. Is Nick Bolton to 299. Mike Evans, Lime Green to uh, 35. Darren Waller to 99. Red Hot Rookies, Sauce Gardner. The rookies, Kenny Pickett for the Steelers. That's for Brian T. And the last one. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Looking for a final autograph. We have not seen a downtown card. I don't know if they're, are they one per case? Or are they a little more short, shorter printed than one per case? Either way, we haven't seen one this half. Maybe it's in the second half. Any golf fans out there? Love watching, uh, I'm on watching Golf Channel right now. I think they should just mic up Tyrrell Hatton for every round he plays. He's pretty pretty fun to watch. Very self-deprecating. Very animated when he hits a bad shot. Always a good sound bite. I could go down a rabbit hole watching uh, Tyrrell Hatton. You know, mic'd up. DP World Tour, Tyrrell Hatton, PGA. B Chords is saying they should be one per case. Okay, thank you.
is Rory McIlroy ever going to win another major? Here is Kenneth Walker, 20 out of 255. Kenny Skywalker. It's Kyle Duggar to 299. And Justin Fields. 18 out of 79. Out in the fields, I fight for my meals. The teenage wasteland. Evan Ingram, 14 out of 50. Singletary to 199. We got Bailey Zappi, Rookie Kings. And that velocity pattern in the background looks kind of cool. That'll be for the Patriots, Ron, and the Pats. Felt the paper, felt the redemption label behind me there. Any guesses on the redemption? It's Romeo Dobbs at 299. C.D. Lamb to 179. Hassan Haskins to 79. I thought the Black Pandoras were to 25. Huh? Twenty out of 25. Did I say something else? Did I say out of 75? Did I say 255? Maybe I. S <laughs> huh. Maybe I kind of slurred my words and maybe I was like. 20 out of 2. Don't listen to what I say. I'm AI generated. The AI isn't perfect yet. Well, believe what you see on the screen. The images on your screen are not AI generated, they are real, they are live. <laughs> Right, this is my Friday trends. Cut me a little slack. All right. Last autograph. No downtowns, by the way, so they must be in the other half of the case. It's like Super Mario Brothers. The princess is in another castle. All right. We've got Kenny Skywalker III, Black Pandora, to 25. Are the autos to 25 too? That's for Seattle. That's going to be for Ron, who won the uh, who won the Seahawks in that optic football pack. There's that Brock Purdy, another Brock Purdy, Desmond Ritter as well, Aiden Hutchinson. Not a bad half. Second half in the store, most likely a downtown in that second half. Now, let's uh, gather everybody's names. One through 32. New dice, new list. And name on top gets an invite to the wax party. Good luck, chance to win a, not a lot of nice wax. After two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. After four times, Joshua, I'm sorry. Very close, but just not quite. Sad times from two through 32 after four, but happy times for Mark Russo. 
Mark, I don't think, what team did you have? I don't think I called your name all break. Did I call your number in this break? No, you had the Jaguar. I'm sure there were some Jaguar all card chips, so I'm sure you'll get some Jaguars, but in terms of autographs, no. Not a Jaguar, but an invite to the wax party. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. The details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com for the wax party, so check it out, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.